Hey you. Happy New Year. It's officially 2022. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to the Best of Luxury Beauty 2021 week. Where each day this week, we're going to dedicate two specific categories for the best of luxury beauty. Today, we're focusing in on primers and powders. Let's go ahead and get started. For me, primers are, I like to look at them this way. It's going to be on your face all day. It's the first step after your skincare. I kind of want and I'm looking for products that are multifunctional, are going to benefit my skin because it's already sitting there all day and going to help my makeup look really good. So with that said, let's start off with Dr. Barbara Sturm. This is the anti-aging primer. This is described to be like a hybrid type product, whereas it's skincare and makeup. So you're going to have your hyaluronic acid in there for moisture, which we love. It's also said to have antioxidants and restorative ingredients to help your skin look replenished, hydrated, and supple. And it gives it a really pretty glow as well. It's got a super smooth and luxurious texture. And that is said to help with the appearance of pores and wrinkles. Personally, I just find it to be super hydrating. With all of those claims, I found them to be quite accurate, except the diminishing of the fine lines, not so much, but everything else, absolutely. It does minimize your pores and help your skin look very smooth. It allows your makeup to apply beautifully. It feels amazing on the skin. You're hydrated. You're given a little bit of a glow, but not too much. So it is a product that you can wear if you don't want to wear foundation that day. I have used this plenty of times, more often <laughs> than with foundation, I will admit. Um, I'll go in with a little bit of this, a little bit of concealer, dust a little powder, call it a day. Keep it very soft and simple. And a product like this works really well for that. And it has done me well, and I reach for it because I know that it's going to give me what I'm looking for in that aspect. It's giving me a little bit of skincare because it is something, let's say, you are more combo skin. You can use this as your moisturizer for that day. I have used it with multiple different types of foundations, stick foundations, gel foundations, powder foundation. All the foundations I've used it with. It's worked really well underneath as a great first step base and that's why she's earned a good spot for the best of in 2021. <laughs> so the next primer that kept my attention, I wanted to reach for throughout 2021, comes from Tom Ford. It's the Illuminating Primer. This one is hydrating. This one gives a beautiful glow to the skin. Of all of the primers I'm going to share with you today, this one is definitely the most, you know, luminous esque of them all. <laughs> it gives a beautiful glow to the skin, in other words, in a way that works. There are some primers that I've tried that are just like, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> but no, this luminosity is a luminosity that works. It allows your skin to look very healthy and supple and just, you know, good overall. Along with the beautiful glow that it gives to the skin, it does allow your foundation to apply and wear throughout the day beautifully. When I use this illuminating primer with the Shade and Illuminate foundation, which itself has a very beautiful glow, they work. It's not overly dewy where you're just like, whoa, I need to like powder, powder. No, it actually works really well. It just gives you a very wearable, healthy glow to your skin, but it's noticeable. It's a glow that you're going to see. You know what I mean? It's one of those, but it's hydrating. It's comfortable. It allows your foundation to wear and apply over top beautifully. She held me down in 2021 very, very well when I wanted a little more glow to the skin, a little bit more. Yes. So next up is the Le Mer Perfecting Primer. Is that the name? Yes. Okay. Got my little notes down here on my laptop. Got to make sure everything's in order and organized. It's the only way I'll get through these videos. <laughs> this, this is going to blur you and this is going to just smooth you in the most 
beautiful way. Another product that you can definitely use all on its own with just a little concealer and powder and go all about your day just to smooth your skin out to give you just a little bit of a blur. It's said to have a soft focus effect and I agree with that a hundred percent. And I actually like the Squeezy 2 packaging. When you think of Le Mere, you think of like this outlandish because it's expensive, you know, over the top kind of stuff, but I actually like the squeezy too. And the pump, I actually really like the packaging. It's easy. I can have it in the bathroom. I can have it in my makeup bag. I can have it where I want and not worry about it. Because sometimes with a lot of these more fancy packaged products, as much as we love that, you know, things can happen. But anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm di I digress. Love the packaging. The actual product is fantastic. It gives beautiful moisture to the skin while smoothing and blurring you. It just leaves you looking like you have a filter. Looking like you, I mean, you, you look like you have pores. I mean, we have pores. But if you just want to be smoothed and just perfected almost, this does that. This primer gives your skin a very smooth base, a, just a smooth canvas for you to go in with your foundation. Everything is just so smooth and it just allows me to just like allow my skin to look like skin all while looking smooth and perfected. This is another product that's skincare and makeup so you can definitely use it all on its own or in combination with your other beauty products like, you know, foundation and such tinted moisturizers. They all work really well with it. And you know, your girl really enjoys skincare combined with primer. Why not? Right? Next primer is a very, very long time favorite. I know I mentioned it last year, but it deserves to be mentioned again. Like I repurchase, I will continue to repurchase. I have yet to replace it and I don't want to. It's one of those products. You know, you ever just get comfortable? You're comfortable, you really enjoy it. Like, yeah, I will try other things, but I'm always gonna have and reach for and need to use <laughs> this particular product. The one I'm on and on about is my Sizzlay Double Tint Sior. Yes. Pump packaging, simple, you know, straightforward to the point. This primer, it's a gel consistency. It's very lightweight on the skin. It feels hydrating, doesn't feel heavy, wears beautifully with all different types of foundations, powders, gels, creams, tinted moisturizers, all of them all of them. <laughs> this is a primer that I'm always reaching for and on my no makeup days I reach for it to enjoy the skincare benefits too because it's one of those as well. The biggest thing about this primer is it gives you a beautiful base. It firms, it tightens your skin over time because it is more so skincare. I absolutely love that Sizzly puts skincare first and then makeup. So you're always going to enjoy the skincare benefits first and then of course the makeup aspect so you can enhance yourself, beautify yourself and you know all of the things. It's a primer that you're really going to enjoy wearing because it's just so light, very lightweight on the skin. It does get a little bit tacky so with that said you know it's going to have your foundations just staying in place all day. My makeup just looks really, really extra good whenever I use this as a primer. And yes, this is another product that I do enjoy wearing without foundation. Just a little concealer, go about my day, you know, just to enjoy the benefits. Awesome. Yeah. Next up, we have the Shantikai Anti-Pollution Mattifying Cream. This is something, for me, I found to be a little unexpected. And I say that because mattifying. You think it's going to completely leave you flat. You're going to have no, your, sc your skin's going to look dull. It's not going to be cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you know, I somewhat prefer a little bit of something on the skin. I don't want it to be completely flat. I like it to have a little, just even just a little bit of radiance and then we'll go from there. But this, although it is mattifying, yes, it is mattifying, but it doesn't leave the skin completely dull. 
and flat. It gives it moisture and, you know, it's Chantecaille, so it's going to have all of those amazing skincare packed with skincare over anything. This technically is a moisturizer, but it works really well as a primer because I noticed when I use it with foundations, tinted moisturizers, powder foundations, my, my makeup just wears so well and it helps keep the shine that I do get in my normal areas because I do have combination skin in the T-zone. It helps keep them at bay. It doesn't leave me flat, but it does lightly mattify and smooth and just softly blur the skin. It's not as significant with the blurring like the Lemire, but it's on par in a sense. Lightweight texture applies very smoothly. Your skin feels hydrated but softly blurred and just takes down the shine. Not too mattifying where you're super dull and just like whoa but enough to where it works in a beautiful way and allows your makeup to wear beautifully. The next priming product that I'm going to share with you is pretty great. It soothes, it refreshes, it balances your skin, and it looks amazing in the beautiful packaging. <laughs> this is the Chantecaille Orange Flower Water. This is the Bitter Orange Blossom. This is harvested by hand, steam distilled to get the best concentration to balance and to calm you, and it does just that. How I use this is after I do my skincare and I come and I sit down, I'm going to do a little something on the face or I'm going to do a full face. Either way, I just mist some, take a nice deep breath to really enjoy the aroma because there's something about the scent of this that is just so calming and comforting and just like the rose water, you know, that calming aroma. I take it in and then I'll just pat it into the skin. Feels amazing. I feel refreshed. I feel ready. Skin gets a little plumped up and we're ready to go. Ready to put on some makeup. It's good stuff. Really good stuff. You can also throughout the day refresh with it. You can also use it after, you know, you've put on maybe a little too much powder or when you're all done with your makeup. Just to meld everything together, just spray it, pat it in with your fingers, you know, after you do your powders and all the things. And it looks great. Your makeup looks great. So it's a versatile product. You can prime with it. You can set with it. You can refresh in the middle with it. All around. It's great stuff. first eyeshadow primer that held my attention throughout 2021 and will continue to do so since I've used it majority of 2021 <laughs> is the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Eye Base. Wait, please hold. <laughs> Emotion Proof Eye Primer. Yes, this one. It comes in the packaging just like the Emotion Proof Concealer. I love the little, f it looks like a foot. The little doe foot, look at it, it looks like a little foot. But that shape works. It allows you to apply it on your lid really nicely. It's a very thin consistency. It has a little bit of a tint. So if you use a little less, the tint really won't bother you per se. But if you use a little bit more, you can kind of build it up to where if you want more vibrancy from your shadow, more like a lighter shadow that you want to pop, you can achieve that. Um, but this eyeshadow primer, I have no creasing issues. Shadows stick and adhere just really well. They blend smoothly. Allows my eyeshadows to just perform so much better when I use one. It's natural for your eyes to crease and some who have oily lids, it's natural for some of that to happen, you know? Using an eyeshadow base helps with that a ton and I have found this to be quite effective. Keeping shadows looking really, really good, day, night, and, and beyond. <laughs> now this primer is said to contain sil silica for a blurring soft focus effect and a second skin texture. Definitely can agree with that. Whenever I apply it, my lids look nice and smooth. 
Definitely. So <laughs> I have to agree with that claim. I just wanted to point that out because I'm looking at my notes here. wanted to make sure I touch all my bases. But yes, great eyeshadow primer throughout 2021. Now this one, she came a little bit later in 2021, but ever since, I'm using her quite a bit. And it's a very different, it's, the Tom Ford's a liquid. This next one is a stick. I, I don't, I think, yeah, it's been a while since I've used an eyeshadow primer that was in a stick form, but I really, really like it. This is the Shantikai Next Generation Eye Base, and this does come in two shades. It comes in light and medium. I go with light for shadows that I want more pop, more vibrancy, just because when you have a lighter base, you're going to have a little bit more pop on the shadows color, you know? But medium works just as well. Great does what it needs to. Anyhow, I use medium mostly. But she looks like this. She's getting lots of love, so sorry it's not clean. I should have cleaned that before I came out here. <laughs> but you know, we're just, I use it. So, you know, anyhow. Great stuff. I, in my head, I was like, oh, a stick, maybe it's going to be dry. It's going to tug. Actually, no, it provides moisture. It has ingredients, and as you know, Shantikai is known for their skin benefiting, skin loving ingredients, and you do get that even in this little guy right here. Make sure I have my wording correctly. This is rose stem, it's infused with rose stem cell and grape extract to soothe and smooth the eyelids, and yes, definitely achieve that and I love that the most about this and it's actually really easy to work with you just put it on blend it with your finger and go or blend it with a brush if you're not a finger person what's really cool like most other eyeshadow primers you can definitely wear them alone but this one because it has a little bit of a tint to it it gives your eye just a little something whereas if you don't really feel like doing a whole entire eyeshadow look there have been times where I will apply this, more focus it on my lid area, and then go in with my bronzer because I'm it's like a lazy day. I don't want to use 10 different products. I probably just want to use two or three, you know, or one. We all have those days. Just put a little bronzer in the crease, this on the lid, and it looks like you did a little something. You tried a little, you know what I mean? <laughs> So in no particular order, I literally did this on purpose because I don't want to make it like I have favorites because um, I don't. I love all my makeup. <laughs> and that's the fun of making videos like this because it really allows me to share, you know, all the things. <laughs> okay, I'm babbling. So the first powder that I'm going to share with you is from La. Pretty. Last year, I remember I shared a La Prairie powder with you because I genuinely enjoy La Prairie overall. They are a skincare first type of brand and then makeup, which is amazing because it shows. Truly to me, of course, I love to really put it on and glam it up, but majority of my life, <laughs> I like to allow my skin to look like skin. And that's why I always lean towards products that are gonna focus on my skin's health and integrity first, and then, you know, enhance what I've been given, you know? So last year, I sh look at how much I've used this. It's seriously that good. This is the La Prairie Skin Caviar Loose Powder. Wow, serious stuff. Love that powder, still do. But this year, 2021, I tried another powder because I try to be good. I know I buy a lot of makeup, but I genuinely, I genuinely try to be good. <laughs> so I waited, you know, but it was on my radar and I wanted it for so long. So this is the Skin Caviar Powder Foundation. Now hold on, hold on. I know, I know I said powder foundation, but wait. <laughs> because I technically use it as a setting powder. Because like I said, La Prairie is more skincare and then makeup, so it's light, you know? 
But he, oh, the packaging. It comes in a little deuce bag. This is the packaging. It's got fingerprints, but again, that's why we keep our dust bags to make it pretty, you see? Okay. So it comes in packaging like this. Comes with a little poof in the mirror, and then here is the actual product. She's quite light, and that was intentional because I wanted this to serve as an under eye brightening powder to set. And wow, a product like this, I find it to be very light. It's a very light texture. And I don't like to put a lot of powder, you know, for the most natural look and you know I have come to terms with my fine lines I have come to terms you guys are there it's fine I smile a lot I get it I get it it's fine okay but I want powders that are not gonna look cakey and heavy and this powder does not look heavy or cakey this is a powder I find to be more on the natural finish it's not matte, but it's not glowy. It's that perfect in-between, whereas it looks just very natural and almost invisible. This is literally the best way to describe it. I'm very happy with it. I got a ton of use out of it. I'm going to continue using her. I mean, I've pretty much completely worn off the little embossing. It's, it's, it's good stuff. Now, this powder... This was something that I saw Britt Clark using all the time. And I was like, ooh, that looks really good. So I was like, I want to try it too. And it's from the brand Haley's Beauty. So this is their Retouch Soft Focus Setting Powder. This powder reminds me so much of the Ilia powder. I believe I mentioned that one last year. Still love that one, but... If I had to compare it, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. This is what the packaging looks like. It's a, you know, traditional loose powder. It blurs you. You look like a filter. Like, pores who fine lines wear. But for me, my fine lines do come back because they're, you know, they come back. They're fine lines. But they don't look bad and cakey. And that's what I enjoy most about this powder. So along with it blurring and smoothing everything, it's very, very light. Wait, like, like, feels like literally nothing on the skin. And even if you touch it and you go like this, you're like, whoa. It's like, whoa. But I do find that this works well if you want to bake with it. And it's awesome. Another thing I like to do with this is on a no makeup day, on a day where there is just no makeup, except eyebrows. Your girl always does her eyebrows. <laughs> I don't want to scare people away, so I always do my eyebrows. I will go in with this and just dust it all over the face after my skincare to just set everything in and just look, you know, soft and smooth and blurred and perfected. Like, I don't have on any makeup technically, but I just look smooth and nice. This is perfect for that. This next product gets me excited. Like, it gets me excited because this is a brand I've loved for a really long time. And I remember when I first started YouTube, I used to talk about this brand so much. And then I kind of, like, didn't. And then I said, you know what? I remembered. And I was like, hey, what's going on with Bright Terry? Because I kind of got stuck on, not stuck, but I kind of just kept using the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder, the loose powder, the plain, the original, the white one that looks, you know just was using that. I was like, man, it's been a while. Let me check out my Terry. What's she got going on over there? And I found this gem. This is the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder Palette. So technically, it's the Hydra Powder, but in a palette form. There are not many face palettes that I find to be truly functional, okay? Where it's a face palette that you're going to use all the powders. There's always one that will not work for me. Not this one. This face palette, I use all of the face powders. And they even threw in a bronzer, and it works. It works as a bronzer. I did do a dedicated video to this. And ever since then, I have been reaching for this palette so much. I like to go in with this to set my under eye. I'll then go in with this lightest shade to kind of brighten up the inner portion. I like this shade all over my face, and that's bronzer. So, so, so good. So this is that traditional Hyaluronic Hydra powder, which is a moisturizing powder 
that doesn't leave you looking cakey or dry. You just look pretty and perfected in the most beautiful way. There would be no way <laughs> I came and did not share this powder with you. Let me pull up my notes because I want to make sure I don't forget to say anything. <laughs> Cause you know, with me, I just get super excited and I genuinely forget to say things. And then while I'm sitting and editing, I'm like, but Mo, you had so much more to say rather than it was just great and amazing. <laughs> so our final product and I mean, wow product for me. And I'm so happy that it's now permanent. I'm talking about the Shantikai Perfect Blur Finishing powder. This is the limited edition packaging. I have it already. I'm going to finish them up, but they do now have it in their permanent packaging. It looks like a little pebble similar to the bronzers, but it's like a silver. Really nice. I can't wait, but I just, you know, I have these, so I'm going to finish them, but they're just really lovely powders. Genuinely effective blurring powders that are like filters on your skin. Like, whoa. <laughs> These are powders I like to wear with makeup, without makeup, after skincare, just because they blur and they make you look amazing. And they are just very much undetectable. It does not look like you have powder. Flawlessly beautiful, shall we say? Shantikai states that it is infused with a special combination of optically correcting pearls and blurring spheres to filter out imperfections and boy yeah <laughs> this you can use it in a couple of ways you can use it to set you can use it just to buff when you're all done with your makeup to kind of just buff and perfect because you know sometimes after you do bronze or blush highlight you just kind of want to uh, buff everything smooth everything together this will perfect work perfectly for that. And yes, it will work perfectly for your no makeup days where you just wanna smooth your skin out. It'll work with your skin tints, your gels, your all types of foundations. It, it works well with, I've tried it with them all. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, that's it. That's it today. Yeah, did we do everything? Huh. <sighs> look, honestly, <laughs> I could spend hours sitting here talking about all this stuff, but I wanted to pull out the true staples throughout 2021, the things that got a ton of use and just deserved their moment and their moment they got <laughs> in today's video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I'll see you tomorrow for the next addition to the best of Luxury Beauty Week 2021. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.